Who wants to play Frisbee? <laughs> Go! <laughs> Take it! Sharon Page's love for dogs started at a young age. Good boy. We got our first family dog when I was just two. Even before that, my first word had been doggy. Um, I said doggy before I said mama. <laughs> Come on, Dash. I was absolutely enthralled by dogs my entire life. It was that early enthusiasm that led Sharon down a tricky path. Nice catch! She decided she wanted to become an official circus trick dog trainer. And at the age of 12, got her first dog. The first tricks that I ever taught were tricks I would never, ever recommend anybody teach. Remember that I was 12. I taught my first dog, a Springer Spaniel, to jump up and grab cigarettes out of people's mouths because I really hated smoking. And I taught him to jump up and bite my wrist so that I would drop a toy gun. I thought he'd be great at disarming a criminal someday <laughs> if I needed him to do that. I don't recommend that you teach dogs to bite <laughs> or jump up into people's faces for their, for their tricks. <laughs> Sharon's dogs have won 113 titles, certificates, and versatility awards. She's lived and worked all over the world. She even competed on the reality show, Turkey's Got Talent. We auditioned and got on to season one of the 30 acts that were on for our week. We won the phone vote with over a million people called in to vote for us and went straight to the semifinals where we performed a pirate routine. Although Sharon might be the ringmaster, it's her four-legged stars that steal the show. Okay, Dash. Meet Dash, an enthusiastic papillon who loves to entertain. Go in your suitcase. He is the energizer bunny of dogs. Lie down. Donut. Donut, 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 donut. I could literally train him for hours, and he would never give up interest or get bored. That's all he wants to do is work. Good boy. Play the basketball again. Good boy. Come on. Go get the phone. Dash is one of Sharon's most honored dogs. Good hold. He has the highest titles in the two governing bodies for the sport of trick dog. He has a trick dog champion title, and then he has the trick dog elite performer title. He's one of only 150 dogs to have the second title, and that's from all of the U.S. and Canada. Not to be undone, Copper joined the act in 2017. Copper, jump up. Having been rescued from a local shelter in Wisconsin. Ready? Push. Good girl, push. She had about a 10 second attention span, and then she was done. It's okay, come on. Good girl, come on. Luckily, she's also the fastest learning dog I've ever had in my life. And she's also very unusual for a dog. She can learn to do tricks by watching another dog do them. Copper, like Dash, is also a trick dog elite performer. Copper, four in. Stay. The highest title you can get from the American Kennel Club. Copper, jump up. She's just spectacular. Although Sharon, Dash, and Copper continue to compete at national competitions, some of their favorite shows are actually booked a little closer to home. Who's ready to meet the first dog? All right. Bringing their circus to local libraries. They are a blast. Yes. Yeah, a boy. I grew up in libraries. So being able to go do a library show and get kids enthusiastic about reading is you know, totally up my alley. They even add some theatrics to the tricks. So we did his skit called Circus Story, which is about a dog that was too little to join the circus. He applied for a job and they said he was too small. So he decided that he would have to work out 
and prove to the circus that he was worthy of joining them. And then in the end, he becomes a tightrope walker. When she started doing these shows, Sharon didn't know exactly what to expect at first. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be having to corral toddlers all the time. And the parents, the librarians, and the kids themselves are just so well-mannered and eager to make the experience fun for everyone. I can't imagine anything not to like about doing a library show. And that is the end of our program. Thank you guys for coming. For Sharon, dogs have had a huge impact on her life, even pushing her to learn a few new tricks of her own. Because of dogs, I've learned how to do so many different things. I was interested in dog behavior, so I even went back to graduate school to study animal behavior. And along the way, forming bonds and relationships that you just can't teach otherwise. No matter how friendly and wonderful the other people in your life are, there's something so accepting about a dog. They're so non-judgmental, always happy to see you.